The fate of a North Charleston apartment complex that houses hundreds of people now lies in the hands of the city. Earlier this month, management at the flats at Mixon told more than 200 of its tenants they need to move because of structural safety concerns. Tonight, North Charleston officials decided they need more time to evaluate whether they're going to condemn the building. This is Travis Rice was at that meeting, spoke to people who live there about what they think about this decision. Travis. Good evening, Brendan. Folks that call Mixon home and those with ties to the development will have to wait a little bit longer to see what will happen. Lawyers, investors, and regular people expecting the flats at Mixon to be condemned must hold their breath a little longer. City officials voted to recess their meeting on the apartments until June so the Public Safety and Housing Board can visit the complex. All parties involved, including the city of North Charleston, denied going on camera until after the ruling is made. But one thing's for certain, no one will be in Mixon in June when that day comes. The irony of the future residence sign at Mixon glows like the sun setting on the parking lot that's got a lot more space is open than usual. Does this place kind of feel like a ghost town now though? Yes, all my friends have already left. We've had friends that went on to back up to Boston, all these other states, spur of the moment, and you know, it's sad to see friends go. Adam Oyanuga is one of the last living at the apartments after a letter told him he has to move out by the 31st. The moving out process has been difficult. There aren't that many apartments that are available that suit the commute for work for me, so you know, it's still that ongoing process of just looking for a place to stay. You know, I don't think that anybody wins when you make a brash decision. Another Mixon tenant, Alex Gonzalez, has experience with these sorts of dealings and says water damage on the first floor doesn't mean the building's a loss. But that can all be remedied because of your proximity to the ground, so you can always brace up. It's going to look ugly, but it'll be safe and it'll allow you to buy time to actually get through litigation and mitigate the damages. And with the city's decision still pending, Gonzalez hopes he won't have to go. And my wife and I have made plans to stay in Charleston. We want to stay here. We moved here to be here. So we're looking to buy in a place, but you know, we were happy that it looks like we have a little bit more time at the moment. Both Oyanuga and Gonzalez tell me they plan on staying at Mixon even after the eviction date. In the meantime, city officials will reconvene for their next public safety and housing meeting June 6th, hopefully with a decision. Reporting in studio, Travis Rice, News 2.